In this video, I'll show you some simple steps to connect a speaker to your monitor and transform your audio experience. Whether you're gaming, working, or just chilling with a movie, great sound can make all the difference. I'll guide you through various methods, including wired and wireless connections. So stick around till the end to find out the best way for your setup. Let's dive in! Before we jump into connecting your speaker to your monitor, it's important to understand the compatibility and type of equipment you're working with. Start by checking the audio output options on your monitor. Common outputs include a 3.5mm aux poor, HDMI, and sometimes USB. Now take a look at your speaker and consider its input capabilities. It's crucial to match these inputs and outputs to ensure a successful connection. Speakers come in two main types, active and passive. Active speakers have built-in amplifiers, so they're ready for a direct connection to your monitor. Just plug them in, and you're all set for an enhanced audio experience. On the other hand, passive speakers don't have internal amplifiers. To use them, you'll need to connect them to an external amplifier first. This amplifier then connects to your monitor. This extra step is vital for boosting the weak audio signal from your monitor into a powerful sound for your listening pleasure. To connect your speaker to your monitor using a 3.5mm aux cable. First, check if your monitor has a 3.5mm audio output port. This port is usually found on the back or sides of the monitor and might be labeled as aux or marked with a headphone icon. Next, get a male-to-male 3.5mm cable and plug one end into the monitor's audio output and the other end into your speaker's aux input. If your speaker has an RCA input instead, you'll need a 3.5mm through to RCA audio cable. Once connected, make sure to adjust the audio settings on your monitor and the source device to ensure the sound plays through the external speakers. If your monitor only has HDMI ports and no audio output, you can use an HDMI audio extractor. This device separates the audio from the HDMI signal, allowing you to connect your speakers using an aux or optical cable. To set it up, connect an HDMI cable from your source device, like a gaming console, to the extractor's input, and another HDMI cable from the extractor's output to your monitor. Then, connect your speakers to the extractor's audio output using a 3.5mm or optical cable. This method is great for monitors without a 3.5mm audio output, but keep in mind that using an extractor might slightly affect the audio quality. For better sound quality, consider using a USB audio card. This device connects to your monitor's USB port and provides an aux in port for your speaker. Simply plug the USB audio card into your monitor and then use a 3.5mm audio cable to connect your speaker to the card's aux in port. This setup can provide clearer and more static-free audio, making it a great choice for setups requiring high-quality sound. If both your monitor and speaker support Bluetooth, you can connect them wirelessly for a clean, cable-free setup. Turn on your Bluetooth speaker and put it in pairing mode. Then, enable Bluetooth on your monitor and look for your speaker in the list of available devices. Select your speaker to pair it with the monitor. This method is especially convenient for monitors that are designed to double as TVs and come with built-in Bluetooth. In some cases, you might need a converter to connect your speaker to your monitor, especially if they support different audio signal types. For example, if your monitor has an RCA or aux output but your speaker requires a digital input, you'll need an analog to digital audio converter. This device will convert the analog signals from your monitor into digital formats like coaxial or optical, allowing you to connect to speakers with digital inputs. Make sure your monitor has an audio output port to use this setup. Using the right converter can help bridge the gap between different audio signal formats and ensure a smooth connection between your speaker and monitor. If you encounter any issues like no sound or poor sound quality, here are some common problems and how to fix them. What to do if there's no sound after connection? Make sure all cables are securely connected to the correct ports. A loose connection can often result in no sound. Check the volume on both your monitor or source device and the speaker. Make sure they are not muted or set too low. On your computer or source device, ensure that the audio output is set to the monitor or external speaker. You can find this setting in the sound settings. To make sound better when it's not good, the problem might be other things getting in the way. If you're using wireless speakers, put them far from other wireless devices to stop this problem. If the sound is still not good, try using a different wire. Sometimes, bad or broken wires can cause the sound to be not good. The position of your speakers can affect sound quality. Try placing them in different spots to get the best sound. What to check if the volume is too low. 
Check the volume levels on both the source device and the speaker. Increase the volume to a suitable level. If you're using passive speakers, make sure they are properly connected to an amplifier that is turned on and set to an appropriate volume. How to connect a Bluetooth speaker that won't connect. Make sure your Bluetooth speaker is in pairing mode. Check the speaker's manual for instructions on how to activate this mode. If your monitor doesn't support Bluetooth, you won't be able to connect a Bluetooth speaker directly to it. Bluetooth devices have a limited range. Ensure your speaker is within range of your monitor. What to do if audio is delayed? Audio delays can happen with wireless connections or HDMI audio extractors. If possible, try using a direct wired connection. Check that your audio drivers on the source device are up to date. Outdated drivers can cause various audio issues. If you've tried these solutions and still face issues, consider consulting the user manuals of your devices or reaching out to their customer support for additional guidance. That's it for this video. You now have all the information you need to connect your speaker to your monitor and enjoy better sound quality. Whether you're using a wired connection, Bluetooth, or an audio extractor, we've covered it all. I'm excited to have shared this guide with you and hope it helps you enhance your audio experience. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech solutions. Do you have any questions or additional tips? Leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.